Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, the IQ bowls. These are slow feeder bowls. I got them from the IQ website. You just search for um, IQ, just like what it says, A I K I O U. And um, it was actually cheaper getting it directly from their website than getting it from like Amazon or anywhere else. So that's what I chose to do. Um, these bowls have been a lifesaver. Before I was having the dogs. Um, like throwing up their food because they were eating too fast. Um, I think that these were designed for dry food, but I actually use wet food because the dogs do better on that. So um, all you do is find the little line, line up the the holes right there with the um, the little clips that hold it in. And basically, so what the dog has to do when you put the food in is they have to turn this to the di to get to the different compartments. And it really helps them slow down when they're eating. And especially because I use wet food, they literally try to get every little piece of it out of there. So they'll spend a lot of time on one compartment trying to lick all the food out. Um, so... I'm just going to go ahead and take these off and fill it up. And I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing. I have to hold the camera, so. So this does take a little bit of time to load up the bowls, but I feel like it's well worth it. Um, there's a lot of problems that dogs can get from eating too fast. Not to mention I don't have to clean up the floor <laughs> every time. So, Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling up the bowls. And then I'll show you putting the lids back on. Okay, so here are the bowls all um, all filled up. Okay, this is Toby's bowl. He gets a little bit more than Rosie, so I just do half a can each. They're pretty small. And then you just put these on. There we go. I like to turn it so that, you know, just in case it's not right on where they can where they can get it off easily. So, let's see. Alright. So, now I'm going to bring the dogs out and show you. Um, well, I'm not going to film the whole time because it does take them a really long time to eat the whole thing with these bowls. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, as you can see... <laughs> My dogs are very excited about this food. Um, they love it. So let me see if I can get a good... See, he's turning it. Toby tends to move his bowl a lot. Let's just bring Roses over here so we can see what she's doing. So she's just eating one compartment. That's about... Well, there's six compartments, so she's eating... A twelfth of the can, and look how long it's taking her. They literally try to get every piece out. 
See, so she's turning it, and now she's she's in the next one. So I've seen them both turn it with their nose or their paws. They do whichever one. And it really does help. I don't get any more throw up anymore. Um, it's much better. Seems much better on their digestion and everything. So there you go. I would definitely recommend these bowls. Um, you do have to clean them because food does get stuck on the lid and um, if it sits there, well it, it probably only does that because I have wet food, but if it sits there then it get, it, the lid tends to get a little stickier and hard to turn. So I, I wash mine about every other day um, to help them with that. With dry food it probably won't do that, but you still should probably wash them so they don't get... Um, so they don't get bacteria build up. But you can stick these in the dishwasher. Yeah, they're totally fine in the dishwasher. If you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher. Okay.